All right, guys. So first thing that you're gonna do, take your wire brush, brush off the thick parts of the rust. You don't have to get crazy with it. You just wanna get a bunch of the dirt and big chunks of rust off. But I'm not gonna sit and make y'all watch me do this the whole time. But I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll get to the other part of the electrolysis. All right, so now after you get your uh, relics scrubbed off good with the wire brush, you wanna fill your tank up and you don't have to fill it all the way to the top. You just gotta make sure that you can put your relic hang it about halfway from the bottom you just basically want to suspend it in the center of the water is all you got to do so uh when i get this filled up we'll get to the next part all right so now i got my water filled up now the next step well what i do the next step is I take copper wire. That's what you need to use is copper wire. Take your copper wire. And you gotta make sure that you get it tight enough that it gets a good connection. Because if it doesn't have a good connection, it will not go through the electrolysis process correctly some people like to put a screw inside somewhere on the just drill a little bit into the metal that way you got a good clean spot uh, because you really need to have a clean uh, a clean contact for it to work good but if you do it like this it works good or it has worked for me so far that doesn't mean that it won't now <laughs> but uh once i get these i'll hang them on top of that that rod right there see the rod right there i'll hang it on there put my anode in on the other side and uh put the baking soda in but uh let me get the baking soda and i'll show you what else to do and then we'll get her started Alrighty, so here's the next step. I got my uh, I got my axe head uh, wired up. So now I'm gonna take my baking soda, and it's supposed to be like a tablespoon per every gallon of water. Uh, I don't find that it's that important, so I just kind of guesstimate. So uh, I just kind of. Give it a sprinkle in there on that side, a sprinkle on that side. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. Alrighty. Give it a good stir. That way it's mixed in real good. Like cooking supper. Everybody likes cooking supper. <laughs> Alrighty. Now that I got that done, I'll take my anode, which will be this piece stick it there and then give me one second i'll be right back and then we'll get it started all righty so i got my two relics on the wires so what you're gonna do dip her down in the water just like that and yeah i might have overdone just <laughs> a little bit on the wire there put a little bit too much i think that's okay I'll use it for my next one. You want to make sure you get a good connection on your rod because you're going to put your negative cable on this rod. And then you're going to put your positive rod on this. But let me get these in the water real quick. And then we'll get to that next. Okay. There 
go. <clears throat> Pretty simple. The first time I done this, I thought it was gonna take, like I really thought that it was more complicated than this, to be honest. But this, I found, is, is really the easiest way to do it. Alrighty. So we got it. Both of the relics are in there. As you can see, they're both in there. So now what we're gonna do, oh, take our battery charger. Don't forget, you gotta get an older battery charger. You don't want one of the newer ones because it does not work good. It will shut off and it will not work. All right, take your anode. I do not have it plugged in yet, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So you take your positive anode or your positive wire, hook it to your anode, and then take your negative, boop, hook it there. Let's do it a different way though. Let's hook it there, that way the wires ain't touching. All right, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Now all you gotta do is hook that bad boy up and do it on two amps. That's, that's what I do it, I do it on two amps. All right, now let me see if I can get in close so you guys can see this, because it is kind of hard to see. I mean, I can see it, but it might be a little bit hard. Let me undo my GoPro here. All right, this is how you know if it's working. See those little tiny bubbles coming off of it? That means it's working. You see it coming off that one? And if you look right there, you'll see it's coming off this one. Okay. Now when this start when the rust starts coming off, you want to see well, you want to see water flow just a little bit. You want to see the water moving. And if you notice, it might be hard to see, but like you see that little black thing right there? See how it's moving? That means there's a current in the water. And you got these bubbles. And it has got an awesome current. It's all over that wire. So it's doing, those bubbles are showing me that it's got a good connection. And she's working good. Now when this rust starts coming off of here, it's going to attract itself to this anode over here. It's a really neat process. If you ever get the chance to do it, I suggest you do it just for fun. It's really neat. But uh, it's that simple, guys. Now all we got to do is wait. Um... I'll do a, uh, I'll add a little bit in between as I'm doing the process because what I'll do is like halfway through, I'll take them out, give it a little cleaning, see how everything's working, and then I'll stick them back in for another few hours, and then I'll be done with it after that. So now all we got to do is sit and wait. I'll see you whenever they're halfway through, halfway through. All right, guys, so this is after about 10 hours of being in the electrolysis tank. As you can tell, the water is green and nasty. And if you look over here at the anode, you can see where the rust is collecting up at the top right there, which is definitely a good sign. Everything's still bubbling. You can see it's still bubbling there and still bubbling there. So I'm going to unplug it. And then we're going to check it out together. See what she looks like. Oh, yeah. See that? She is looking good. Let's check this one out. I don't really expect this one to turn out too well. Uh, you can see how black that is. Uh, that means that one's pretty much cooked as good as it's going to go. Uh, there ain't much good iron left of that anyway. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna brush it up, stick it back in t in the electrolysis tank, let it go for a few more hours, and then I'll show you the end result. All right, I'll see you at the end. After you take everything out, you want to dump out your water and refresh your water because you don't want to try and get it you ain't going to get it super clean if you just keep leaving the water in 
dirty like that so you at least need to change it at least once in between the process to get it the best that you can i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that part uh, before i forget and then once i get the water filled up i'll put the axe head back in there turn the electrolysis machine on and then we'll be good to go all right i'll see you when i get up there to the electrolysis machine all right guys so i got them back in there tied up all i gotta do is turn it on but before i turn it on i wanted to show you this this is what your anode will look like if your electrolysis machine is working right i mean you can tell that was brand new when i got it and you can see where all the anode has collected all the nasty stuff from the relic which in this case would have been the axe head but uh to me that's just freaking interesting so i just wanted to show you guys that so you can tell what working and what isn't it's not going to do that if it's not working but uh now let's just turn her on Ooh. hook her up bam make sure everything looks good and it does so we'll turn her back on all right guys she's cooking again and then we'll get down here close make sure everything's bubbling good i see bubbling that's a good sign so i will see y'all at the end all right guys so here's the finished product right here uh once you take it out i gave it a little bit of scrubbing to get any of the extra rust off that i could i could probably let this cook for a few more hours if i wanted to but uh that's plenty good enough for what i want it to look like if it was a little bit uh if it was a little bit uh how do you say a little bit older and uh, a little bit cooler looking i guess i'd do a little bit more probably but that definitely gives it plenty good enough um now the next part after you uh dry it off you know you don't really have to dry it off but uh next thing that you do is uh make a fire now there's a couple different ways you could do this you could dip it in in melted wax and do it that way i've heard people use oil to keep it from rusting again uh but uh i learned this from larry cisna from digging texas so i want to give a shout out to him for watching his videos and him teaching me how to do it this way uh, but really this part's all up to you um, after you do this and get it out you want to stick it in a hot fire i stick it in the oven for about an hour uh, because you want to get all the extra moisture out of it that way it doesn't re-rust again uh, but he sticks it in like a big fire pit inside of a metal cage uh, so however you want to do it, it you know that's that part's up to you but uh after you do that part, which I'm not going to show it because it's raining outside uh, and it's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, I stuck it. In, I, I'll stick it in the oven and then I'll take it out and spray paint it black. Some people do clear; that way they get uh, you know the natural look to it. But this is how Larry does his, and I I wanted to try it this way because I'm still pretty new to the process myself. I just wanted to show you guys as I was learning, but uh, that's what the finished product would look like. Uh, this is the one I did yesterday, but there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notifications bell uh, so you can see all my upcoming videos. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next the next video. Or the next hunt, whichever I do next. Alright, see you guys later. God bless and have a good day.